tips how to get through the ugly phase the ugly stage of starting the locks but yeah when you start when you start locks no lie they're going they're going to be looking very very rough they're going to be looking very rough it's going to be looking like ground beef on your head or it's going to even look worse so i'm just going to take oh shoot i'm just going to give y'all a couple tips on how to get through that ugly phase with locks now the number one tip is to keep your hair protected I can't stress this enough. You have to wear something on your head when you um, sleeping, May, depending on what work you have. When you go to work, you feel me? You just gotta protect your uh, starter locks because when you first get them, it's gonna be hard to keep them in because your hair isn't used to that style yet. Like you need to understand when you start your locks, the reason why it takes so long to lock is because your hair has to get used to being like that. Like my hair, it's used to being locked, as you can see. It's used to being locked. It's used to all this, so you know. It stays locked even when, you know, I still protect it. I, I know I'm working rough as hell right now, but, you know. But you see, once uh, you keep them protected, it allows your hair to stay in that form for a while. That way, it can get used to being locked, because you see, and everybody got different hair, even though we as um, black people damn near really got all the same hair almost. You have to keep your locks protected when they're in the beginner phase. You feel me? You got to protect them. You got to protect them, you know, in order to, you know, keep them locked, coiled, depending on how you want them. The number two tip on how to get through with starter locks. This doesn't have much to do with... um you know, protecting them or anything, but this has something to do with how to deal with them because you know they're not that good when they're starting them. Now, when you starting them, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, if you don't like how they look, you gotta you gotta thug it out. My thing is you gotta thug it out. You know, if you gotta turn the ski mask to slump guard wearing do rags all the time, that's what you gotta do because it's gonna take a while for that for that to get some hang time. I know it took a while for my hair to get some hang time. And I'm still waiting for it to get a little longer. You feel me? But yeah, you got to get some hang time with your locks. But you know, you got to get through, you know, the growing phase first. You got to get through the growing phase first. So, you know, if you have to wear a do-rag all the time, depending on, you know, what you do, then hey, go ahead and wear it. You know, I get it. If you can't wear it to work, it's unprofessional or whatever. But, you know, you just listen to the rules, do that. But other than that, you got to, you know, you just got to dug it out. You got to dug it out, wear a hoodie, hat, whatever do rag you know but keep them protected at the same time my thing is just keep them covered and so but don't my thing is you keep them covered but don't don't like mat them all the way because they gotta breathe one thing they gotta do they gotta breathe they gotta get a breeze in them they gotta get some air to them you know you know that's that's what you gotta do number three number three do not wash your starter locks do not wash them I cannot stress this enough. You cannot wash your starter locks in order for your, like, people misunderstand starting locks and how to take care of them. You can oil them and make sure they're moisturized, but you cannot, you know, wash them completely or get them completely wet. So when I say by that, it's like, okay, with your starter locks, you can put some oil, you know, you got the oil, tap oil for locks where you can put the oil on your scalp, you know, you feel me? And it feels good when you do it. You put the oil on your scalp when you just got a retwist. You know, boom, your scalp is oiled and moisturized. And for the locks itself, you know, you get like you get one of those spray spray things, you know. My my suggestion, you get one of the spray uh the spray things with water in it. Um get like I wouldn't say a do-rag, but like something that's light and knit, put it over your lock, your starter locks, and you know, just give it a little spray around, you know what I'm saying? Not too much. You give it a little spray around that way your locks are a little bit moisturized, but at the same time not completely wet. That way you keep your hair moisturized when you have to start the locks. Cause I tell you, if you just dip your head or you just go in the shower, you know, wash your hair completely on style locks, that's gonna fuck them up. 
it's gonna fuck them up. You feel me? It's not ready for any of that, you know, yet. It's not ready for any of that yet. For your star locks. So that's my way on how to keep your locks moisturized. Your star locks moisturized when you have them, but you cannot wash them or you're gonna fuck them up and make your journey even longer. You know, you're gonna make your journey even longer if you do that. So, you know, keep them moisturized the way I say, you know, get a little thing, put it over your head, spray a little water around it to keep your locks moisturized. Um, scalp, put some certain oil on it, boom, it'll be straight, you know. Now, my number four tip. My number four tip, uh, consistent retwist, consistency. So, when you have new locks, you feel me? The consistency is going to be the most important thing because your hair, again, your hair is getting used to staying in that form. So what you got to do is keep, I have a good retwist schedule. So consistently getting it retwisted like every two weeks, three weeks is okay. Four weeks, it's okay. You know, try not to make it over five weeks. You feel me? You got to have a good consistent retwist schedule because again, your hair is getting used to being in that form so the longer and longer it keeps getting twisted and keeps you know staying in that form the better the better you feel me the better it stays the better it stays the better you know stays like that you know so have a good retool schedule have a good loctician you feel me you have to have somebody that knows what they're doing you know no disrespect but you gotta have somebody that knows what they're doing so you know yeah because when, when you start the locks off determine what type of locks you gonna have so make sure you had no Make sure you know somebody that know what they're doing. Uh, the fifth tip. When the time comes, get it braided. So once your locks get like a little bit of hang time, maybe not even hang time, but when it comes to time for you to braid them, you feel me? You'll be able to, you know, have longer hair. Like this is what I mean. So when you braid your locks, it allows you to... um. It allows your hair to grow while they're, you know, braided. You know, the best thing about getting them is once you get them braided, you know, you get a retwist as they get braided. So once you get braided, you keep the braids in for two weeks. And then after you take them out, you'll still have a fresh retwist depending on how good you took care of the braids. But also the braids help your hair stay in that form for a longer time, a long period of time, a longer period of time. So that means that your hair is getting more used to being locked, making it a lot more easy and even helping your hair grow. So that's that that helps a lot, you know? So that's like five tips on how to kick off your starter locks, you know? But you all, but you know, even after all these tips, it's your own experience and it's your own hair. So, you know, there might be things you know about it that, you, that I don't or that other people don't, that you just gotta experience it yourself, you feel me? You know, go and prepare with these tips, you know, look up other tips. But also, you know, have your experience and figure out and experiment yourself. Just make sure you don't fuck your locks up. And also, from my experience, let me give y'all experience since people be asking about my dot, my dyed hair. If you're getting starter locks, do not dye your starter locks or do not dye your hair before you get your starter locks. And I'm gonna explain why. That fucked my hair up. And look, look at this image right now. It that's my starter locks. Yeah, they look fucking terrible, but check this out they probably would look maybe a little bit better if i didn't wasn't so thirsty to dye my hair i dyed my hair like maybe two days before i started my starter locks and this is like maybe after third second third retwist i'm not sure but this is in the beginning phase and i was so eager to get it done but i didn't realize that you know dye does dry your hair a lot and then it forces you to moisturize your hair more than you need to. And you would know when that was starter locks that complicated things. So it was kind of a little messy before my hair started getting, you know, a little more put it together like this, you know, like this, you know, the dye does do a little damage. That's why I stopped doing it for a while. So, you know, all this, you know, it wasn't put, put together like this as my locks are right now. You feel me? It wasn't put together like my locks are right now. So just a bonus tip. From my experience, if you want to dye your locks, that's got to wait down the line because I'm telling you, it will hurt your hair if you do it too early. You feel me? But yeah, that's all my tips. You feel me? I know I'm like, I'm going to say next week, get my hair done. I'm going to be dropping more videos about locks and stuff. You feel me? On my experience on them, what I'm going to do with them. You feel me? I might just grow my sides out. I don't know. I got to experiment with that because, you know, I got high top blocks. You know, you feel me? But yeah, 
y'all stay y'all uh, stay safe take care of yourselves keep raising your frequency you know keep that ether long your locks long you feel me try to get used to calling them uh locks not dreads or just try to call them dreadlocks just don't call them dreads by themselves you feel me the only time i might say or do that is because i put it on my videos for the title to get looked up or monetized so you feel me but other than that i really don't call them dreads you know what the word weighs do your research you feel me but you know that's it y'all take care you feel me raise your vibration and don't do nothing stupid jay soul i'm signing up